the volunteer chief of the fire department in Princeville, North Carolina, is one of the greatest heroes this state has ever seen. While the flood was taking over his town, he was standing there and he saw way across the rapid waters that a woman was trapped in her truck and the truck was barely above water. He got his fellow firefighters to put a rope around them and tie it as tight as he could. He then proceeded to go way out into the water with his fellow firefighters holding the rope. And by the way, his wife was on the radio at the fire headquarters listening in. She's a volunteer firefighter too. So he goes in, he gets to the woman at the truck, tries to pull her out of the window, and both the truck, the woman, and the chief go under. And the rope starts extending, extending, extending. They were under the water well over a minute and a half in the filthiest, dirtiest, darkest, deep rapids you can imagine. His fellow firefighters immediately hooked the rope up to the bumper of the fire truck. And the fire truck engine put it in reverse and gunned it faster than any NASCAR driver we've seen in history. He gunned it, and when he gunned it, their fire chief comes out of the water. He's still breathing. He's alive. Two other firefighters go in to save the woman. They save her life, too. Isn't that amazing? By the way, something about this that amazed me even more, the fire chief remembers nothing about being going underwater for a minute and a half. He remembers nothing. Isn't there something about that? Where he was under the filthiest of water, close to death, and yet when he's dragged out, the first thing he sees is his fellow firefighters who saved his life. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the best of America and the best of North Carolina. Right?